When I was 15, I decided not to be gay. Perhaps it was the boys with bullets behind their teeth that followed me from class to class. Perhaps it was the school psychologist I told about the boys, but who responded with, if you don't want to be treated differently, don't be different. Perhaps it was my mother who cried in shame when she told me she was gay. Or maybe, maybe I was 15 and I was scared. But skin has a way of remembering. And touch has its way of shaking amnesia. And years later, I found myself holding my girlfriend's hand. Still, sometimes I forget that I'm gay. Don't get me wrong, I realise I am undeniably queer. Don't get me wrong, I understand the day I was born this world became a little more fabulous. I still fall asleep holding her hand. I still wake up just the same, but sometimes I look up. Catch the disdain of passers-by, I look up. As people shake their heads and turn away, I look up. How easy is to forget that we do not fit within the world as our hands do within one another. How easy it is to forget that loving her is a battle we both fell into. And when 38% of our country votes no, that means that more than one in three people are fighting against us. And when on Christmas Day, my girlfriend's mother exclaims that she can understand some of the argument and everyone's entitled to their own opinion, I realise even if the statistics say we're winning, we're still fighting to prove our love is valid, our hands. Seek each other, but stall, I look up. With her eyes, she tells me, not here, see, in war you learn to speak without words. In war, you learn to assess your surroundings before you step into them. In this, I understand there's no safety in our love. In this, I understand there's no safety in us. In this, I understand loving her freely is a privilege we're yet to hold on to. Still, I remember. I remember what it was like when she was gone. I remember what it was like when my hands held nothing. And now I know loving her is a fight I will never walk away from. Loving her is a fight I will run to. And so I'm holding her hand in the sunlight. I see a child around the age of 15, he sees me too. With his eyes, he asks me, is it safe? I look down, press my hand a little more into hers. I look up and I smile back as if to say, it's worth it. <laughs>